Hi guys, Paul Kirtley here, and in this video I would like to share with you the double fisherman's knot, which I find particularly useful for certain jobs like creating lanyards for pocket knives and fire steels and that type of thing. But it's got a range of other uses as well. It's very neat and aesthetically pleasing knot as well. And I think it's a good one to have in your arsenal that you can use when it's appropriate. It's very difficult to get it untied when you want to, and it's very difficult um, for it to come undone on its own as well, which is why it makes a really good lanyard knot as well. So this is how we do it. Okay, now if we're making a lanyard, I've introduced this in the context of lanyards, but if we're making a lanyard, we're going to take one piece of cord and we're going to loop it back on itself and we're going to use one of these double fishermen's to join those two ends together. And we'll look at that in a second. But more generally, we could bring another piece of cord into the equation. So you don't have to be making a lanyard, you could be just joining two pieces of cord and you're going to bring them end to end. Before we do that, let's just remind ourselves what an overhand knot is, which is that. It's the simplest knot anyone could think of, anyone could tie. And if we put that into the context of joining two ropes together like this, and through there, like so, you can see we get a single fisherman's knot and that works very nicely. We could use that for our lanyards and there'd be nothing wrong with that. Okay, I've left some nice long tails on that so there's no chance of it slipping through. But I think there's something aesthetically pleasing about a, a, a slightly different version based on the same idea, which is to make a double fisherman's, okay? Which is basically the same starting point into there need a little bit of a, a, a longer tail for a given amount protruding at the end we're going to go around twice this time so before we just went through once and we went through here we're going to go around again what you might call a thumb knot okay like that through there and then we're going to do the same symmetrically once. That's where we went for a single fisherman. So you just keep going round behind the first one. And we're going to go through here like so. Like that. And we're going to pull that down so it's nice and tidy. There. And that's our, that's our double fisherman. And if I pull that really tight that's going to be really difficult to undo. Okay, so that's why I like them for lanyards, because once you pull them down, they're really difficult to get undone. And you can have really quite short, tidy tails on them and they won't come undone. Okay, I'll show you once more. So I'm going to bring these end to end, like so. I'm going to go around, around, and that tail, the live end is going to go through there. This one, I'm going to go around and around, and then we're going to go back through the middle of both of those loops, back there, through here, Pull that down. We've got these two overlapping bits of cord with our thumb knots in each one and we bring those together. Pull that down and that is our double fisherman's. Very tidy and very nice. Okay, so to make, our, to make a lanyard for example, we're just going to bring together two ends of the same. Like here on my fire steel for example. It's the same orange cord, would you believe? It's just this has been used a lot, it's a bit dirty. and But it shows you that, you know, this was tied a couple of years ago and it has not ever come undone. Yep, I've got that original knot here. That is the double fisherman's. Yep, there. 
and that is on the clip for my fire steel and that's what attaches to my belt and then that goes in my pocket and it allows me to keep that safe. Similarly with my TK4, yeah, got, I've gone through the hole in the, in the handle there which is very secure and then I just need a knot that is not going to come undone. And again, I've got my double fisherman's there. Okay, very tidy. And that then clips onto a small carabiner, which I attach to my belt. And then that goes in my pocket. And uh, that is my uh, backup knife, as it were, a lot of the time when I'm doing wilderness trips. Very secure, does not come undone. And there is something just really satisfying about that little last bit of bringing them together and cinching them together. And that is your double fisherman's. Well, guys, that's how we tie the double fisherman's knot. I hope you found that instructive. I hope that serves you well if you're going to use it for your own lanyards or other uses you can find for it. Um, let me know what you think about that format, um, whether or not that was clear, whether or not you'd like to see different angles. Let me know. Um, it's always good to get your feedback. And if you like this video, please like. And if you'd like to see more of this type of video, please subscribe to my channel where I share a whole host of videos regarding bushcraft, survival and outdoor life in general. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.